Welcome back, everybody. We are now joined by State Senator Alberta Darling this afternoon. She is the co-sponsor of three bills that address drunk driving here in the state of Wisconsin. The Assembly passed these bills last week. The Senate, though, has not put them on the calendar for a vote. Explain to us why the leadership in the Senate has not let these come up for a vote yet. Well, I think they looked to Jim Ott to see whether the Assembly could pass the bills, and they did. Three of the, the six were passed, and we will now debate those in the Senate, and I'm confident that we will pass them before we end in the end of April of this next year. This has been a very long process. Yes, it I mean, has. These bills have been tweaked and tweaked again, but you still seem confident this is going to happen. Yeah, I think it is going to happen. What the Senate has been talking about, too, is the need for for rehab and, and for treatment, because we think it is important to stiffen the penalties against drunken driving, especially for repeat offenders. That we all agree to. But we also agree we need to do some investment and treatment money, because anybody who's a repeat offender at the third, fourth, fifth level and up uh, has a significant drug and alcohol problem, and it's important that we ask step up to make sure there's treatment and well, the person would pay for the treatment but some of the counties are experimenting with it right now and they find it's very successful to have a treatment option and the offenders uh, re-up for it and it works pretty, very well. It's a tough issue and it's one that Wisconsin needs to debate and the Senate will debate it as well. One of the biggest changes to the way things work in Wisconsin would be requiring first-time offenders to physically show up in court. They don't need to do that now. Is that something you think can survive this debate process because that really strikes to the heart of the problem that the first time drunk driving in Wisconsin the penalty is so minimal. Well, it's like getting a parking ticket right now, and we think that's not appropriate. We think having to go to court, and the governor supports that, will make it a more serious crime because the individual will realize, yeah, this is a, this is serious. I've got to go to court. It's not like just having a parking ticket. I can write my uh, check and send it in. A lot of people point the finger at the Tavern League as having a hand in this, swaying lawmakers to vote a certain way and this is why we are where we are with laws in the state against you know, drunk driving. I don't know that that's true because I've talked to the Tavern League and most Tavern League owners and the organization itself believe that we have to address the repeat offender and they agree that it's a serious problem in Wisconsin as it is in many other states. So I think that they're given a, a tough rap and they really are much more supportive of doing something especially for treatment for repeat offenders. Not so much in the Tavern League for the first timers, though. That's the one. No. That's the one place where you differ in opinion. No, and you know what, though. In all honesty, 80% uh, of the first-time offenders do not re-offend, which is their point, and they, mm -hmm. they feel like we should really get uh, into who are the repeat offenders, have the treatment, and, and, and look at that. All right, Senator Darling, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. You can join in this conversation as well at TMJ4.com. We have much more on the problem of repeat drunk drivers and what's being done to stop them. Look under the I-Team tab on the website.